Bonjour les étudiants. Hello dear friends. Welcome to FLCC, a unique YouTube channel about French language, culture and civilization. Music is very popular in France and there have been a lot of singers who are associated with what is called la variété française. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about music in France, especially 10 famous singers in France. So, so today's video, I'm going to talk to you about 10 famous French singers. First singer is Alain Souchon, a singer and actor who continues to inspire the young generation in France Alain Souchon was born on 27 May 1944 in Casablanca, Morocco. His real name is Alain Edouard Kienast. His partnership with songwriter Laurent Woolsey has given many hits such as J'ai 10 ans, Jamais Content. Along with his career as a singer, Alain Souchon has appeared many times in the cinema. His best role remains that of a shy young mechanic in L'Ete Meurtrier, directed by Jean Becker in 1983 with Isabel Adjani, with whom he had already rubbed shoulders in the previous year in the film Tout Flamme, directed by Jean-Paul Rapineau. Some of Alain Souchon's famous songs include Allo Mama Bobo, Fool Sentimental, Le Baiser, etc. So, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students, this was Alain Souchon. Bernard Lavillier is our next singer. Bernard Lavillier was born in Saint Etienne on 7th October 1946 as Bernard William. In 1967, determined to break into music, Bernard Lavillier takes the road to the French capital Paris and performs in Cabaret. He is the most travelled French singer. Bernard Lavillier sets down his bags in the countries he loves, immerses himself in them and brings back what seduced him. He has travelled to many countries including the countries of Latin America, Caribbean and Africa. Some of the famous songs sung by Bernard Lavillier are Traffic, Ide Noir, On the Road Again, Noir et Blanc, Les Mains d'Or. So, ladies and gentlemen and my dear students, this was Bernard Lavillier. Our next singer is Florent Pagny. Florent Pagny was born on 6 November 1961 in Chalon-sur-Saône in Bourgogne into a modest family. Amateur singer since he was 13 years old, in 1976, Florent Pagny arrives in Paris. It was in 1987 that Florent Pagny is able to fulfill his dream as a singer when he convinced Gérard Louvain to produce his first single, N'importe quoi. It turned out to be huge success and rose to the top of sales for two months. The years 2000 were particularly thriving years for Floro Pani, who attracted a wide audience with his multiple styles and musical collaborations. From Calogero to Pascal Obispo, Floro Pani multiplies successes such as the album Châtelet Les Al, Double Platinum Disc or Ireland Diamond Disc, including the popular song Ma Liberté de Pensée. On 5th April 2023, Floron Pani released his autobiography titled Pani by Floron. On the cover page of this book, Floro Pani appears in black and white and can be seen smoking. So, dear friends and dear students, this was Floro Pani. 
Jo Dassa is our next singer about whom I am going to speak now. Jo Dassa was born on 5th November 1938 in New York. From America to the Champs Elysees, Jo Dassa crossed the shores of the Atlantic to achieve a career as an American star in France. From the end of the 1960s until his death in Tahiti in 1980, he lined up the hits and colored variety of Francaise with a hint of American folklore. His meetings with the lyricist Jacques Plait gave birth to songs that would make him brilliantly enter the charts of the time. From 1966 with Bip Bip, he had his first success and overnight became a real star. Some of his famous songs include Et si tu n'existais pas, Les Champs Élysées, Jo Dassin died following a heart attack in 1980. Johnny Halliday, the king of French rock and roll and the superstar of French rock and roll is our next singer. Johnny Halliday was an admirer of American singers Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry. Johnny Halliday has established himself as the only true French rocker. His real name was Jean-Philippe Smith and he was born on 15th June 1943 in 9th arrondissement of Paris. Adored for his repertoire, charisma or stage presence, Johnny Halliday moves the crowds. Bercy, Parc des Princes, Stade de France. He went so far as to bring together 400,000 people at the foot of the Eiffel Tower to mark the start of the new millennium. Johnny Halliday tastes the initial success with the album Salut les Copains and becomes the emblematic singer of the Ye Ye period. At the same time, Johnny Halliday has also acted into cinema. Some of his famous films include Aventure, c'est l'aventure, 1972, Detective, 1985, L'Homme du Train, 2003, Jean Philippe, 2006, Vengeance, 2009, Salo en Thème, 2014, Chacun sa vie, 2017. After, after battle with lung cancer, Johnny Halliday died at his home in Marne la Coquette on the night of Tuesday, December 5 to December 6, 2017. So, ladies and gentlemen and my dear students, this was Johnny Halliday. Julia Claire is our next singer. A major artist on the French music scene, Julia Claire has impressed all generations since the 1960s with his hits such as Ma Préférence, La Californie or Sonny Rien. Julia Clerc recorded his first 45 RPM disc La Cavalerie during the beautiful days of May 1968. Julia Clerc was born on 4th October 1947. During his studies, he starts to compose his initial songs during his studies. He meets two important people in 1960s, Maurice Vallée and Etienne Roda Gill, who became his songwriters. In 1990, a more serious Julia Claire comes on the musical scene with the song Fais Moi Yun Plus. In December 2016, Julia Claire completes 50 years of presence in the field of music. Some of his famous songs are Fam, Je vous aime, Cœur de Rocker, and Melissa. So, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends, this was Julien Claire. Julien Doré is our next singer about whom I'm going to talk now. Born on 7th July 19, 
82 in Alice. Julien Doré is a French singer, songwriter and actor. He is the great great grand nephew of the illustrator Gustave Doré. He attended the School of Fine Arts in Nîmes for five years. The winner of the reality TV show Nouvelle Star in 2007, the UFO Julien Doré has already released three albums and is about to release the fourth simply called And. Julien Doré's famous songs are Coco Kaline, Paris Seychelles, Le Lac, etc. So, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen, this is Julien Doré. Our next singer about whom I am going to speak is Aurel Song. French rap singer Aurel Song became known on the internet in 2008. This young man from Normandy has also tried his luck in the fields of television and cinema. He was born as Aurelien Cotentin on 1st August 1992 in Alençon, Normandy. It is at Caen that he partners with Guillaume Tranchon with him and creates the group Les Casser Floaters. In 2009, he releases, he, releases, he releases the album. In 2009, he releases the album Perdue d'Avance, whose song Salpiut creates a lot of controversy as he is accused of inciting violence against women. In 2017, Aurel Song gets the video of the song Bazik published on YouTube from his album La Fête est Fini. The song is a real hit and contributes to the success of the album. So ladies and gentlemen and my dear friends, my dear students, this is the French singer Aurel Song. Renaud is our next singer. As a singer, Renaud Seychon is rebellious at heart. As right from childhood, he has nurtured a taste for protest. Renaud Seychon was born on 11th May 1952 in Paris. His famous songs like Hexagon, Mona Chalem, Morgan de Toi, Mistral Gagnon, or more recently, Manhattan Kabul give Renault a special place in the history of French music. In 1991, Renault, Renault played the role of the coal miner Etienne Lantier, the main character in Emile Zola's classic work Germinal, directed by Claude Berry. Renault played the leading role in the film Germinal directed by Claude Berry. Renault has remained faithful to France as he is one of those rare singers who didn't sing in English language. Ladies and gentlemen, I just spoke about Renault Sichon. Finally, I'm going to talk to you about the last singer of this video, Michel Sardou. Michel Sardou was born on 26 January 1947 in Paris to actors Ferno Sardou and Jackie Sardou. Michel Sardou is one of the most popular French singers. He is among the singers who have sold the most records in their careers. Approximately 95 million records have been sold by Michel Sardou and his concerts have exploded the records of attendance. 1970 represents a turning point in his life, in particular thanks to his meeting with Vlin Buggy, lyricist of Hugues Offray and Claude Francois. Some of his successful songs such as Les Balles Populaires, A Mourir de Plaisir and J'habite of France have allowed Michel Sardou to achieve success in France. So, ladies and gentlemen and my dear students, before I end, I'm, I would like to do a quick recap of all these 10 French singers. So, this is Michel Sardou. 
This is Renault, Orelson, Julia Doré, Julia Claire, Johnny Hallyday, Jo Dassin, Florent Pagny, Bernard Lavillier, and Ella Souchon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please listen to French songs so that you can understand how these singers sang and you will also get an idea of music in France. As usual, I wish you bonne chance and au revoir.